Hey Windows Phone fans, it's Mark for WP Central. In this video, we are comparing Flipboard from Windows Phone, which just came out, and Flipboard on iOS, which has been available since 2012. All right, let's take a look. All right, so let's open up the application on Windows Phone and iOS. As you can see here, the original app, the iOS, it will show your home page, which has the cover stories and several other topics in your account. So for example, my account also displays technology, the shot, photography, soccer, and uh, top stories in travel and use in photos. And as you can see here, it has that flipping animation that Flipboard is known for. When you open up the application on Windows Phone, it will only show one story, which is a little bit weird. If you want to go check out the home page, you have to tap on this hamburger button on the top left corner. And there you go. Now you have the same display as the home page on iOS. And does it have the, the flipping animation? No, it doesn't. It's just the regular scrolling here. All right, so let's select a topic here. I'm gonna choose technology on both sides. Um, as you can see here, the list of stories under the technology topic will be displayed. Uh, again, on the iOS version, there's the flipping animation that looks very cool. Here on Windows Phone, that is not available. It's just your regular scrolling. All right, so what's, what else is cool? Uh, on the iOS version, when you tap on the topic, you'll notice sections. So if you want to dig deeper into gaming, Apple News, Android News, gear and gadgets, you can go into those specific topics. Uh, on the Windows Phone side, you don't have that option. You have top stories here, and if you tap on that, it's just gonna show top, top stories. If I want to view only Android news or Windows Phone news or iPhone news, I don't have the option to select a subsection. So let's select another topic here. I'm going to top stories and travel. All right, so you see the list of stories available here. On the Windows Phone side, you'll notice four icons below every story. You have the plus sign, share, heart, and comment. If you tap on the plus sign, that will let you add that story into your own magazine and you can curate it the way you want and you can share that with other people and they can subscribe to that. Uh, you could also tap the share button and you will be able to share that on mail, OneNote, and other stuff that you can share through the default Windows Phone. Uh, here on iOS, it's a little bit different. You have the plus sign on the lower right corner, which lets you flip that, which is the same feature. But also if you tap and hold, uh, you'll have more options to share via email, Facebook, Twitter, uh, flip into your own magazine, read later. Uh, so different ways of doing it. Um, which one looks better, uh, that, that's really up to you. So here's another difference that I wanna show you. I'm here on the home page. Uh, these are the topics I'm subscribed to. However, if I wanna add a new topic, I'll tap the red button on the iOS version. And there are lots of topics available here, arts and culture, living, food and dining. All right, so if I want to select books, take a look at that. Sections are also available. So if I want uh, African literature, instead of just the general books topic, I can select that. Also, if I scroll down, there are other sources here. And if I want to add it, I just need to tap the badge uh, button to the right, just like that. And there you go, I'm already following it. It's a little different here on Windows Phone. So if I go to um, the search button, instead of the hamburger button, it will show the list of available topics. So I'll select gaming. And right away, you'll notice that there are no sections, no sections available. You'll just get the general gaming topic. There is no subsection for uh, gaming. However, if there's something that you're really interested in, you can use the search button and search for that specific topic. So here's another one. It's a major difference between the two versions of Flipboard. Here we are on the CNN video and shows topic. Um, if I tap on that story and tap the video player on iOS, it's going to start playing. If I tap the video on Windows Phone, it's going to say cannot load video. So that's a big difference between the two. 
It looks like Windows Phone's uh, version of Flipboard doesn't support video. All right, so that's a quick look at Flipboard for Windows Phone and iOS. We're glad that Flipboard is now available on Windows Phone. However, as you can see in this comparison, they're not on the same level yet. If you have any questions, head over to wpcentral.com. That should be it. I'm Mark for WP Central. Thanks for watching.